Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Rex Mistakes of America. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're overall, I think we're doing pretty, pretty well against the American Union State. Against the CSA, it's a little bit more, uh, let's just say hit and miss. Just a little bit, though. Not, nothing too crazy. Uh, we do have a trait for you. I, I don't think... Like, maybe, you know what? Maybe recovery rate would be good. Anything else we're actually close to upgrading? I've always kind of been bad at looking at this. For 15%, you don't gain three random stat points. You know, just give me charismatic. Well, we don't. We don't need to be. Uh, we also get more trait later. We don't. We don't need to be uh, too fancy with this. So, what we want to do is we want to kill the American Union State. I think. I think they're probably going to be kind of our first targets here. I want the supply hub. Now, I understand that probably won't be the easiest thing in the world to pull you back one province. Ambusher, camouflage expert. Are you dealing with, like, enemy air superiority? Like, a little bit, but really nothing that intense. You have a lot of units here. That's fine. Bring a truck down. Bring a militia down. We have three more unit slots. So we could train three more regular infantry. I, we don't have any guns, though. At least not quite yet. I think that might be something we want to do in the future. Something we might want to look at. But not not right now. You are encircled. Full position. You guys come down here. Get them killed off. I don't know how you're going or where you're going. We got a supply hub over in Kansas City. Probably would be nice to make our way down there as well. Are you set to attack? You're set to attack. Red Army's really the only one not a... Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you an infantry expert. Everybody else has got an ambusher. I think you get to be a little bit different today. Okay. Central American equipment has arrived. Fantastic. Human assistance winds down. Well, human industrial capacity is relatively small. Industrial assistance was much appreciated. Um, You know what? Let's, let's make the offer. They'll, they'll probably say no. They're the Reich's pack. So I'm guessing they'll probably say no, but I'm 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 not too sure actually. I'm not too sure the uh, how the numbers there work. You're still set to trucks, right? How many trucks do I have? 116. If I were to set all of you to being level one, I'm assuming we don't have enough trucks. Then we need 480. So let's actually have trucks. Set you back to regular. Let's have trucks in Denver. And we'll have trucks in Minneapolis. At least right now. Enough trucks for that. Fantastic. They have 10 political power. Actually, pretty bad. Uh, we could try pushing our way over here. What are you guys doing? I want you this way. I want you this way. 70%, 30%. If I can get my way down to Milwaukee. Like, we're very, very, very close to Chicago. Not that the CSA. Actually, they're like halfway. They're at 70%. And they capitulate at 50%. Does every wait? Does everybody capitulate fifty percent? Twenty, twenty. Why does the CSA collapse so fast? Because they have no war support. You have seventy-eight. You have a hundred. I have forty. Why is your war support so bad? Combat casualties minus uh, twenty-three. Oh, it's because you're only considered on the offense. MacArthur's only considered on the defense. We're considered both. CSA is actually only considered to be attacking. Apparently, nobody's attacking the CSA. I want you going down here. Red Army, I do think, not regular attack, but I think you can also do ju just some basic low-level attacks here and there. We're very close to Kansas City as well. It, it would be it would be nice to have. Get more supply ups. They're always good. They're always, always good. Um, <clears throat> the two doctors being used for repairs right now. I'm thinking, like, maybe... What's the name? Of no, we have 32 ships here. I think, like, maybe if we can, like, somehow get our way to, like, El Paso. Uh, down here. Are you El Paso? No, you're El Paso. What the hell is this city? Anyway, if we get our way down to this port, we can maybe think about, like, doing naval invasion into Louisiana. It could theoretically work out in our favor. I don't know how likely that is. Because by the time we get through Texas, the American Union State might already essentially be dead at that point. Blue Army, you're actually not doing like anything. Hold position for the time being. Actually, if anything, I'm actually going to take some of these units. I'm going to shift them over to Red Army, please. 
and Red Army, your job, at least right now, I guess you're gonna push your way down into Arkansas? Have a good time down there. We'll bring you up one more province. I'm actually gonna have like two more blue divisions actually join up with red. Just to get them filled out. I think blue army for, for now. Well, actually, you know, first I want to see if we can take this province. If we can take this province. I mean, they have Santa Fe too. So actually, it's not going to be a huge uh, disruption in their supply lines, which is a little sad. Okay, so civilian factories. What do you want? I'm going to tell you. I think it's more military factories. You have 60% construction speed here. That's the best we're going to get. So we'll build some in Washington. I mean, our war support's okay. Our stability is pretty bad. And there's nothing I think we can really do to, uh, to tame that right now. You guys hold position. You guys hold position. You don't need to be attacking right now. Don't support the Russians here. Attacking this province really doesn't actually, actually accomplish anything. I want you going down here. I want you here. You like this, you like this. Red Army, I think Red Army is really the only one I think that should be attacking right now. And Blue Army. Red, you like this, I think makes sense. I still want this tile. Is anybody reinforcing that position? The answer looks like it's no. Again, I want the supply hub. Yeah, in American Union State, I feel like we got them pretty contained. I, I don't see them breaking out of here anytime soon. 14 divisions up here, damn. If I were to set you to be maximum, do we have enough trucks for that? We do. Fantastic. What's Red Army? Red Army, I'm going to have you... Desertion at the front. A little bit more war power, uh, manpower for us. You'd love to see it. Pika, we got a supply hub over here as well. It is incredibly important for us to take. I think that will basically destroy CSA supply lines in the region. And how long will that take for us to get it onto our rail network? Oh, only one day? Fantastic. My alarm's going off. I will be right back. Okay. Fantastic. <clears throat> so. We're not, oh, we're not only getting a bonus against the CSA. Can I get a bonus against the longest? I could. Do I want to do that right now? They don't have that many units, which is... I mean, here's the thing. I might as well do it. 25 political power, I don't care about. Command power also is not something in uh, that I worry about too much either. MacArthur's landed troops down near New Orleans. We could see a uh, an American Union state capitulation soon. Support for the resistance, 150 guns, 100 political power. We are political power rich right now. Give me army defense plus 10%. Thing is, like, we don't... Well, here's the thing. Like, we don't have artillery right now, but that's something we will uh, we will we will want in the future. So let's just get them going. Uh, what do we want to take for our technology next? It is mid thirty eight. We're getting all of our industry techs. Oil, as you play in the United States, oil is never really going to be a problem because you have all of the all of the techs in oil fields. You don't need to worry about that. Ah, uh, we we'll sixty six. You know what? Sixty six days is pretty fast. So let's uh, let's take that research. You right now, guerrilla fighter, I'm going to say no to that, but I will say yes to a general offensive along the uh, front lines here. 83, and I want you basically to push away towards Milwaukee. If we can get another kind of cut off of these troops in uh, northern Midwest Wisconsin. I actually, never mind, they do have a uh, straight crossing here, so they could just get out. Okay, more troops as well. And what are you? You are armored core, tanks get a little bit better. Okay, so basically does nothing for us right now, but I will still definitely take it. I want I want Chicago. I really, really, really would like Chicago. How are you doing? You're I mean you're pretty low on organization. I really want this province taken care of. I mean, can I actually deploy more units? Are there any more troops I can deploy? No, it still says these two states, but the button is just not there. So I'm not too sure what exactly they want from me, because I cannot give it to them. Okay, so we're in Madison. 
You shouldn't last to. I'm gonna actually give you even like this. Are you getting attacked from multiple directions? No, you are. Yes, you are, I think. 80%, 64. I'm gonna actually have you guys. Oh, I want more units here. And again, I really, really would like Milwaukee. I'm have you move in this province as well. 53. You should be fine. I would have to uh, have to imagine. You have two divisions here. I could go down into Chicago. Kind of maybe like a encirclement opportunity here. But no, just go all out in Milwaukee. You're not, okay, you're not doing doing as well as I would like. Like, what's their defense at? 597. Do they have, like, air superiority? They do. I don't even have an... There's not even an airport around here. No wonder they fucking call a flyover country. There's jack shit here. Okay, so we did take that supply hub. Santa Fe is the next location I would like to take. Okay, Oklahoma City, another supply hub. Let's keep pushing our way down this way. And Red Army's doing pretty well. I'm happy to see it. Kansas City, I want to move in that direction if we possibly can. Where are you going? You are gone in 14 hours. You can maybe try to hit this one militia troop. And kind of go in this sweeping direction. We just have reinforcements down here, which is not, uh, not ideal. Have you like this? Have you go up? I don't think you're going to be considered encircled, which is a bit of a shame, but I think it's our best choice. Tell me like this. You, this is definitely not encirclement. Actually, no, it might be now because of uh, the fact that Lake Superior has switched sides. 763. We could start going up the uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan here. Make some uh, funky maneuvers. 97, 61. I do want to put a little bit more troops in the yellow. I think yellow's line's actually maybe a little bit too, uh, a little too long. So I'm going to stretch red out slightly. We're going to shrink yellow down slightly. We're getting good progress. St. Louis is a CSA core. You're down 67%. Capitulate at 50, huh? Chicago definitely isn't going to be enough for us to win. Actually, who do you connect here? You don't connect here. I still want you moving in like this. I think I want you moving in like this direction as well. 67. And then bring you guys down as so. See if we can kill you as well. When, I, when do I get to take you over? I guess I'm not actually controlled yet. I think I need Milwaukee for that. Can I do Iowa? No, we might have actually we might have already done Iowa in the past. Thinking about it, four wars. If I take you, that would actually shrink our front line down a little bit. Get blue uh, the more maneuverability. I think same with you, honestly. Even though I'm not happy with uh, attacking into the mountains, I still think it's our best bet. Pulsar, are you a supply hub? You are a supply hub. The Red Army, I think for now, a lot of you can probably stop attacking. I don't think you need to be doing anything. If anything, I want to probably spread uh, Blue Army over here. Just cover more of the American Union states. Oklahoma City has collapsed. That is a supply hub for us. Fantastic. I'm going to bring you down here to Tulsa. Kansas is also a supply hub. It will fall very soon. And let us go for 39 uh, M1 Garand. 82%. I'm, I'm pretty happy with 82, 90%. We're, we're going to be getting our way down towards Chicago. I still would really like Milwaukee for the supply hub. But if we can take Chicago instead... Pretty good. I have... You stay back. Yeah, if you want to push your way into Milwaukee, I, I have no reason to say no to that. I'm pretty happy with that development. So we basically, we're taking like all the supply hubs on our border with the CSA. I do think the CSA is actually going to capitulate first. I'm sh like shocked by that. Can I throw a support artillery into you? I could. How much support equipment do we have? Three. 
Do you know what? How many? I have 10 of you. Let's throw in the support artillery. It allows us to also use our uh, artillery general that I haven't done anything with so far. Okay, more manpower. Fantastic. I need you to go back here. I need you to go into Milwaukee, please. I'm going to hold off on Chicago for a second. Cause mostly because I think I need to take uh, Milwaukee for the supplies. And then we push away to Chicago. That That is... That is mwah. I, I'm happy with that. I feel like we've actually made a lot of good progress here. Again, yes, say they're, they're. I would say they're kind of the underdogs. I think. I think previously, if you asked me a year ago who the underdog of the American Civil War is, I think I would have said MacArthur. But I think that's changed. I. I think now it really. I think. I think the PSA is probably the underdog. You, okay, I did not want to completely abandon this position. Got maybe a little bit too far with the uh, Milwaukee push, but that's okay. But well, we have taken it. It'll be connected to our supply lines. I think it's based on this rail now. On this uh, rail and not this one. That's fully connected to our uh, infrastructure. Uh, supply consumption by is 10%. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And what I'm thinking, I think I see sound like another army up. They can be the green army. And their only job really is just to be up here. So it's a five division on this. We'll give you our best defense general, who is also not that good. And we'll bring yellow back down. Green army, you really just defend the north. Just to make sure the CSA does not push their way through Michigan. I'd be very upset with that. Also, do not turn on night and day mode. It, it does not look good. I think it was a cool idea when the game was coming out. Before the game came out, the nine day cycle. I thought it looked cool. But now, it, it just doesn't do anything for me. I think it looks kind of bad. Do you not take Tulsa? A little, uh, a little upset with that, really. Put another uh, push here. Con you know what? Conversion speed? I'll take it. I think I used to snub it a lot. I used to think, I used to think it was pretty bad. But now, I think I've kind of come around to it. I actually now think it's pretty good. Okay, so what do we want from you? Utilize the best like film industry. 10% war support is pretty good. We're at 41%, which gives us... Oh, no, we mobilize a little bit slower. Actually, I guess it's also a stability hit. For 100 political power, though, I don't know. Roll tension, combat casualties minus 30%. You know what? Fair enough. How many casualties have we taken so far? 327, holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, let's... I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take a 1940 equipment, even though I know it's uh, pretty ahead of time right now. I still think it works out pretty okay for us. We did take Tulsa, fantastic. You guys are not encircled, but you're pretty damn close. So let's kill you guys off. And yeah, we could try to take Santa Fe. Can you two attack him like this? No. So it has to be like two and two. Which I will say is really not that great. How much equipment do we have? 28. Why, how do we have 28,000 rifles? Holy shit. Yeah, give me... Uh, That's five. Give me an extra five stack, please. And thank you. We'll probably assign that over to Blue Army. When the time comes for sure. Yes, sir. I'm still thinking about how nice it would have been at some point if we were able to uh, get some volunteers. 85, you guys have pushed out. Hardy Commune, they should not uh, stay here for too, too long either. And I think your job, go to Gary, and I guess slow, like slowly push away towards Detroit. Like how many guns do we have? We have 30, okay, we do, we do make 273 guns a day. That's pretty impressive. Well, actually, I guess we want to start making ourselves some support equipment. And we're down one rubber. Definitely nothing I need to worry about. Instruction speed plus 10% is pretty okay. You're, you're a flat 10%. You're 10% on military civilian as well as research speed for, for 2%. 2% I guess is not that great. Like, it's it's Okay. Resource gain. Lack of resource penalty minus 10%. Also, 
Uh, honestly, it's actually not that good. This is the case. Honestly, I don't think like any of you are like that incredible. If anything, actually, you might want to save it for the operative slots. You know what? Yeah, let's let's get our uh, let's get the OSS. Let's use the eagle, of course. Create an agency, please. And Chicago has collapsed. CSA is now down to fifty-three percent. Spring. I don't think Springfield's gonna be enough. Gary is worth fifteen as well. Like, we have some options. Will the CSA collapse this episode? I would love that. You know, obviously, I think that'd be pretty, pretty fucking good. Kansas City is worth eight. So taking that is of high priority. Right now, our goal is kill the CSA. Just get them the hell out of here. I think this will definitely turn into a, uh, like, a Sacramento versus MacArthur situation. Just seems the most likely right now. And Blue Army, you're basically not getting anything done. A little bit of a shame, but like, what can you do? How close are you to capitulating? You're at eighty percent. You capitulate at twenty-five. What do we capitulate at? We're at forty-one, so it should be like maybe twenty-six percent, twenty-five. We did take Kansas City. Gets the CSA down to fifty-one. I think if we take Gary, Indiana, they die. I think if we just take fucking Gary, Indiana. It's fuck. It is all over. Oh, Detroit fell. Wait, who took Detroit? <laughs> Did I take Detroit? Missouri. Those are our forces. I'm gonna say I take Missouri. I kind of. I'm gonna take like. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take this territory. Big Arthur can have this territory. I'm gonna. Uh, but MacArthur also gets New York City. Who gets Oklahoma? I mean, if I took Detroit, I would say I'm closer, so I'm going to take uh, Ohio. Like, did I just... Wait, wait, wait. Did I just walk into... It follows Detroit. No, it's because we took Gary, Indiana. That is absolutely fan-fucking-dastic. The Red Army, you are going to be uh, going like this. Brown Army, you're going to be going something like this into Kentucky. And all of this, Cleveland, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, that's just going to be cannon fodder for the enemy. They can just walk into that territory, not bother me for at least a little bit of time. And then your job is basically, hey, push your way, I guess, towards Atlanta. Makes sense. Well, with the collapse of the CSA, I think it's going to be a great time for us to end this episode. Thanks to everyone for watching. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Now, do we close something down? If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.